Hi friends, today we are going to talk about where suppose there is a requirement where you need to get all the table fields, the number of characters and all the check tables for a particular table. So suppose I'm just giving an example. I go to SC11 okay, and suppose my requirement is I go to EKKO and to get all these all these fields as well as the check table and all those things okay so that's my requirement in order to do so okay so you can i don't know how to do it display navigation window no there is suppose what we can do is we do control y or try to go to the table fields and all those things and also i need to make sure i need to enter all the check tables and all those things are also there so how we how we can do it for one table and we can do for multiple tables so there is always an easy way in SAP to do things. Okay, so here is the magic transaction. So I'll just put this transaction is S underscore. I'll put it in the description of the video. S underscore P H O uh, underscore four eight triple zero one three eight. Okay, press enter. And here, suppose I want to put uh, E K K O. I'll just try to do with E K K O and I just execute and here you can see the the length the number of fields as there 177 the length of key is 26 everything it tells okay very very important and it also gives me the check table so number of key fields now if i want to put can i put multiple let me see how it behaves when it, when i put multiple stuff so when i put multiple stuff okay it it would it it stops because it will not give this because now you have multiple data okay but here still if you see you have ekko and if i scroll down mm, it here the mara starts okay so this is very 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 handy i think this is very very handy in order to understand and also lots of time you might try to think okay what are the common field here of these two of these two particular tables okay so what you can do is you can just do do a sort a ascending or whatever and from here you can see whether there is any particular field which is common or not okay so this is very very helpful and lots of times you know there are lots of requirements especially for interfaces where you have a custom table and you have lots of ta lots of fields in it and you really don't know so in those cases, you can just use this transaction code. So this is very useful. And especially when you are moving to S4 HANA, it might be useful to find the number of fields uh, that are there to compare with what is there in S4 HANA or something has been removed or something. OK, so this is very useful. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.